G'day and welcome to a very special Big Brother Friday Night Live. Look at Mike and Fitzy all dressed up in our suits and ties. Fitzy's even got matching shoes on. No, uh, actually, I'll hide them from the bowling alley, Mike. Our show tonight is going to be awesome. We've got special guests, hilarious games, and I'll let you in on another secret. Fitzy's even had a bar. No, I actually had a swim in the river, Mike. Oh, well, that's just as good, I guess. You know, our four happy housemates are back there in the Big Brother house at the moment getting changed. They have no idea what's in store for them. Won't they get a surprise? I reckon the uh, ladies in the audience tonight might get a little surprise when they see us looking pretty smooth here. Hey. Oh. oh, ones with taste anyway. This is Friday, Friday Night Live! Oh! <laughs> Big Brother Friday. Hello and welcome to a very special, nearly the last Big Brother Friday Night Live. The weekly show. Yes! The weekly show that's as important to the housemates as petrol is to a car or a lock is to a toilet door. It's great to be here in front of a live audience. <laughs> When word got round the series was nearly over, there was a stampede for tickets, which surprised me because I didn't realise I owed so many people money. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, speaking of owing people money, let me introduce my co-hosts. In England this week, I was reading that the, the makers of drink commercials are being asked to use uglier men in their ads to make drinking less attractive to women. If that ever happens here, would you please say hello to the face of the Australian beer-making industry, Mr Ryan Fitzy Fitzgerald. And with him, the lovely Brie Amar. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> hey! Hey, guys, look at this. How are you feeling? Great. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. This is like a... This is like a footy match, Mikey. I've been doing my stretches out the back with the crowd and I'm very fired up about tonight's game. I'm pumped. I'm psyched. Great, great to see the audience. Great to see you guys. Man. And, and, and look at us in suits. And Bree, you look fantastic. How did, how'd you do that trick with your hair? With a jaffle maker or something? Yeah, just stuck my finger in an electric socket. That's about all. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks excellent. Looks great. Yes. <laughs> well, good to see you here. So what have you guys been up to this week? I've actually been um, styling characters for a new video game. How exciting is that? People think I know what to wear. Geek girl. Oh, wow. mm. Cyber geek. So, <laughs> so um, does that mean you're going to be able to get a date now? You're hanging out with all these geek guys? Oh, stop it. Listen to them. No, you can, pick, you up, you can pick up blokes on the internet, Breezy. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh. So what have you been up to, Fitzy? What's going on? Uh, it's been a big week in sport, Mikey. The Crows knocked off the Swannies last hey. weekend. Well done, boys. The Ashes started last night and I uh, went down to Mum and Dad's during the week and they had a big argument about Dad's 60th. They don't know where to have it oh. and what to do for it. So, right. yeah, it's been a massive week for me. <laughs> cool. Well, massive. good to see you both here along for Friday Night Live. Bree. What did you think about last week's Big Brother Friday Night Live, your favourite moment? Yeah, last week's show was fantastic. Had my favourite celebrity, Bert Newton. We had a bit of a hiccup with a, a pipe that was stuffed with feathers, but all over it was a fantastic show, so have a look at it. Yep.
brother has just inspected the upright pipe. The pipe was blocked by feathers. Therefore, the winner of tonight's games will have to be decided in a different manner. You will rock off <laughs> to determine the winner of this week's games. One, two, three. What up? Tim, you are the winner of tonight's game. Thanks, big brother. I think uh, Timmy's got a few fans out there in the audience. I got a little teary then watching that. It, it's it, quite emotional. Every Friday night, one of the housemates winning, and it means so much to them. I know. I, I don't know what we're going to do in a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm really going to miss this show. I know. What are we going to do with our Friday nights? What can we do, Bree? I reckon we should just, like, turn up at little athletics meets and kind of commentate. Yeah. <laughs> I might need a bit more slime and sludge to do that, I think. What, yeah. What, what do we do? That's a great idea. No, Friday night, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, Mike. I might have to learn how to read or something. That's going to be hard. <laughs> All right, don't do that. You'll do me out of a job. All right. Well, we're approaching the end of the time in the house for the housemates. Each Friday for the last 12 weeks, they played their socks off for three prizes. Two nights in the luxurious rewards room, complete with gourmet toiletries and hot and cold running champagne. The right to allocate six household chores. And finally, most importantly, the right to take three points off any nominee this week. Big Brother has changed all that. But before we learn what he's got planned tonight, let's remind ourselves of who's won since we started way back with Roman Night in May this year. It's so good. It gets so teary and emotional. Who do you reckon has been the best competitor the whole year? Anyone in the crowd? Who's been the best? Uh, I can't understand what they're saying. What, by what do you far, think? by far, I think it's got to be Kate. Anyone who can swallow a fish's eye yeah, has got right. my vote. Yeah. That is a good effort by Kate, but for me, it's got to be hot dogs. Oh. He, he was the most competitive, even though he was a dead set loser and he never won one. He was the most competitive in my no, eyes. And he, he was my favourite hot dogs because I loved the, watching him lose. Who was the worst? Who was the worst competitor on Friday Night Live? Hot dogs. It hot dogs. was not hot dogs. Hot dogs. He, he got eliminated every time. What about Christy? Poor old Christy. Yeah, yes, Christy never. What about no. Geneva? Geneva couldn't win a prize in a lucky dip. She was hopeless <laughs> each week. No, you know what? By far, I think Christy had to be the one that I've missed the most since she's gone because without fail, mm -hmm. she would either have a good stack, an injury, or she'd make it to the semi-final. Mm. So I think she was great. And what were some of the best games? What was our favourite night here for Friday Night Live? We've had ice and snow night with the penguin and Christy jumping out of it. What would be your favourite night, guys? Oh, mine was the big fan. Remember the big fan, though, were the days? Fan. Great memories. No, mine, mine by far had to be the one where they had to eat everything. That was just out of control. No. <laughs> Ooh, all that eating stuff makes me queasy. OK, well, as I mentioned, Big Brother's changing the rules this week. He's decided our four remaining housemates should be on one team and play against another team. Who's going to be on the other team, you might be wondering? Well, wonder no more and say hello to tonight's ex-housemate All-Stars team. Series 2, it's Jess! 